G'day, Mozzie Mark. Thanks very much for um, stopping by. Today's video, we're going to look at um, a technique that you can use on videos that's going to allow um, not just drone flyers, but also um, people who do travel blogs or people who do specific activities and want to identify where they are by using Google Earth. You might have seen it in one or two of my videos. Um, where you start from outer space and zoom right into the particular spot that you want us to, um, to look at. That way um, people can see exactly where on the planet you are and uh, just gives them a good idea of what they're looking at. So here we go, let's have a look at it. So this is Google Earth. Now you guys all know this. Uh, there is the most recent up-to-date version of Google Earth which is part of Google Maps. And I don't recommend that you get that. I reckon that you download the older version and I shall put the link down there, of course. Um, get the older version because that's the one that allows you to zoom. And if you're doing screen recording, um, which is obviously what I'm going to be doing, then you'll uh, uh, find it much more simple using, well, I use uh, Snagit, which uh, I'll put the link down below, but you actually have to pay for that one after a 15 day free trial. Um, and of course you can use Camtasia if you've got that, Cam Studio, which is a free one, although I had a bit of trouble with that myself, which is why I went to snag it. Anyway, um, Google Earth. All you need to do is be recording the actual um, stream and type in the name that you want and hit enter and you'll be zooming straight down to it. And of course, not only can you um, zoom right in, but you can also pan. So if you're already um, fairly low down on Google Earth, like we are here on Muscle Beach, and you wanted to say, well, okay, I'm traveling from Muscle Beach to say Sydney Opera House. You just type in Sydney Opera House and hits the, hits the um, search button and away you go, watch it fly. <laughs> So here's something a bit different. Um, if you wanted to do, say, a um, pan across from one spot to another, but also revolve at the same time, it's fairly easy to do that. You just um, take the spot that you've, you're currently looking at, which is the default position, then you rotate it, um, move it across to somewhere else, and when you hit search, it will rotate back to the place where it came from. And of course, you don't have to actually have your globe facing to the um, country that you want to go to. Check this out, we're, in, we're facing Australia, but if I want to go to the Golden Gate Bridge, type it in, press search, and away it goes. <laughs> But say you wanted to, to uh, zoom in on somewhere that doesn't have a famous name, or even if you're at a place like Mount Rushmore, but you want to zoom in on, say, in front of the entryway instead of up on top of the rock, you can do that. But all you need to do, instead of typing in the actual name, you go back across to Google Maps in your browser, and then zoom down to where you uh, want to go, right to the very spot you want it to be zoomed at, Click on that and it will show you the coordinates of that particular location. Copy those, go back over to Google Earth, paste them into the location, um, into the search engine and click search and it will zoom down directly to the location. It will give you any spot on the planet by doing that. So no matter where you are, whether you're in Antarctica or the middle of the um, Sahara or anywhere else, in the middle of Australia or, you know, in uh, Tornado Alley, it will definitely find you and th that's uh, the easy way for you to do it. I hope that was a help. I stumble over my words sometimes, but anyway. Um, 
yeah thanks for watching and um, if you screen record any of those options that will give you a little bit extra to add to your videos thanks I've been Aussie Mark and I still am <laughs> bye for now bye